What's up guys, Mike Tierney here with Princess Auto. Welcome to Tech Tips with Mike T. We're talking about accessory truck lighting. So the market has a ton of different lights. What are you looking for? So when you're coming into our stores, uh, you're gonna see a whole range of different styles, lengths, sizes, the different lumens they give out, how, how well they are for, um, you know, when it comes to protecting from weather, all different kinds. What does that actually mean to us? So let's break down some of the lights and their kind of their uses or where you may be looking to use them. So first off, what is your application? What are you trying to get out of the light? Are you looking for possibly say in the farming industry? Are you looking for your combine? You want to light up the field as much as you can and not just the field, but the equipment around you. So if you're looking for a light that you need to come down from your combine, Great option is our curved 50 inch LED light. Uh, we also carry it in a straight application. Um, there's also brackets and that kind of stuff we'll get into. Um, so that really floods downwards and you'll get a really nice long beam out of these lights. So if you're trying to see ahead of your reel on your combine, you're trying to see that crop, what's in front of it, those are a great option. You can also install them on the back if you're looking at you know, whatever it is that you're towing on your tractor or whatever it is that your, your implements behind you. Maybe you want to install another large light that's coming down to the equipment. But maybe you're looking for a little bit more angled light or a, more of a flooding or spotlight. We carry smaller versions that you can mount on the ends of your headers or you know, uh, on top of the header, depending on your, your setup. So it gives you more specific light patterns as you go to the different types of lights and the different sizes. If you're in the market for, uh, you know, you're an ATV outdoor enthusiast, you go hunting and you need just a little bit of extra light to see, you can go with a smaller units. Um, the light I have in front of me right here, um, it has best of both worlds when it comes to lighting an area. So in the center here, you have your typically higher speed light, so you're going to get a longer distance out of the, the light beam. But you also have side lights that shoot outwards and to the side so that you can see what's maybe in the bush if there's branches coming and you're traveling at a little lower speed, but you're getting more direct light out the side. So this little 13 inch bar is a great option it's kind of a hybrid bar so it gives you both flooding and spotlight applications and it's nice and compact it doesn't take up a lot of room you can mount it on the front bumper maybe you've got a you know a, a head rack or a, a grill anything like that this will mount to with the proper brackets maybe you want to trick out your vehicle you want to maybe take out some of the uh, the existing lights that may be in your bumper, so uh, fog lights or anything like that. We also carry a cube style. So the cube style here, nice and compact. Um, it also has replaceable colored lenses. So if you want to match your, uh, your, your, your truck to your, you know, the color of your, your, your light housing, you come, it comes with yellow, black, red, blue, and green. Um, you just pop these out and you can customize this as you need and the kits actually just come with it It's a two light kit So you can just pop those out the bezel gets changed out and you can trick it out to what you want out of your lights on your vehicle Maybe you're in the market and you're not sure how many lights you're gonna need now. These are all solid bars Well, what if you want to get into modular? So we have a really neat program that you can buy they come in a two kit um, piece and you can build your own light patterns. So if you want to have a straight light, you can add more lights with mounting brackets on the back side. You don't see all the brackets. They're all hidden once you've uh, mounted them on your vehicle. And you can start adding in sequence as many lights as you really want. Maybe you don't want a straight bar. Maybe you want to have it as a, a stackable so you can stack them on or make a, you know, a larger surface area for a big spotlight. Uh, this product here gives you that options just by simply Allen keys on the back and um, mounting plates that will come with the kits. So it's a great option if you want to create your own look. So lots of good uh, options when it comes to those. 
then there's others. So there's, you know, there's different um, fender type lights. Um, that will all depend on what your application is, whether we go to the farming industry, maybe we go to, you know, the outdoor enthusiast. Um, another really big um, benefit to some of the larger uh, platform lights is if you're a hunter and maybe you're out uh, goose hunting and you've got a trailer that uh, it's full of decoys. You pull that out, well, you're usually out there in the pitch black setting this stuff up. Well, adding a few um, you know, larger lights and spotlights and floodlights to your trailer, the outside of your trailer, that'll give you all the light you'd need to be able to set up your spread of decoys. So lots of different options. Keep in mind, these are all 12 volt applications. So it's all gonna run off your battery. Being that they're all LED, they're gonna be super efficient. They don't heat up a lot, but because we're using electricity through them, we do get some heat. So all of the models that you'll see up here, they all have really nice fins, cooling fins, to help dissipate that heat throughout. So it, I mean, it basically makes your lights last longer so they don't burn out. That being said, as you travel with your lights, you might start getting a little hum sound. These are all fins, and if you're traveling along and the air's whistling through all these fins, you'll start to get a humming sound. Uh, we do carry kits now that allow you to install rubber, they're basically bushings and stabilizers, and you just push them into your fins and that will help dampen that sound. So they come in packs of two, um, you can put two, four, depending on the size of your light. And uh, this, they're flexible. So you can see how they'll, they'll move. You can pop them in and they'll just lock in and they'll stop that humming sound or prevent a lot of the humming sound. Now, if you're like me, I drive a fairly new vehicle. Uh, the last thing I want to do is drill through firewalls in my engine bay. Uh, not all vehicles have you know, nice big holes to fish all of the wiring that you're going to need uh, to wire up depending on where you're putting these um, these lights. So uh, what, what they've come up with is basically a wireless system. Um, it's an it's a extra um, accessory. And uh, basically it's a, uh, you know, a handheld fob and uh, you can select, in this case, this model can actually have eight different light systems work all off this one pack here. So you mount this under the, your, your engine bay, um, it turns your systems into a wireless application. So you're not having to drill big holes through firewalls, especially on the new vehicles. And um, it makes wiring up your, your, your harnesses much cleaner. And also it helps prevent any future you know, rusting if you haven't protected that hole that you've drilled through. And uh, it makes for a really, really neat system, especially if you're running large amounts of lights. Like on a combine, if you add five or six lights, it's all in one bundle. You can control it all just from your, your key fob here, and uh, it allows you more options when it comes to um, installing your lights. Uh, what really hasn't been on the market until now is uh, like OEM replacement lights. So uh, typically, these are all accessory um, you know, add-on lights, but uh, in the last little while, they've uh, created OEM replacement bulbs. So in this case, this bulb here is a Jeep replacement headlight. So you can take the headlight and now replace it with LED systems. So, um, you know, maybe you're, you know, all your um, avid off-roader and you use that Jeep for off-roading, you can just you know, plug and play, swap out, and you can replace your headlights with these kits. Uh, super cool. I can imagine in the next few years, more and more, um, you know, lighting uh, accessory companies like Evergear are going to start producing more and more OEM swap outs because there seems to be a major demand. Um, it it's, could possibly come into the agricultural side as well. So uh, Jeep is the first up, and uh, this is the kit that you'd be looking at if you're looking to replace your Jeep headlights. Really neat option. We also ca carry cable kits. So the cable kit here, um, wiring kit, 
Um, you know, maybe you've got some other lights that you want to wire in or you need to extend the, the length of your cables that are from the light to wherever, wherever it is you're mounting them to. Uh, we carry 20 foot, uh, in, this, in this case, a 20 foot uh, wiring kit that's basically just a plug and play. You plug them in, they're all universal. You can also buy just the end if you did buy a, you know, a lower price point light that you want to connect with you know, these systems. You can also buy the end and uh, basically just uh, tie it all in and they will plug and play all together. That's the really, uh, really nice part about these programs. They all play well with each other. Uh, when it comes to the safety side of things, we also have um, strobe lights. So LED strobe lights. So if you're looking to replace strobe lights on your, you know, your off-road equipment, specifically farm equipment, or if it's a, you know, a front-end loader, whatever that heavy-duty equipment, we also carry kits for that. Um, and uh, it's just a nice fill-in-the-gap option if you're running all of the rest of the stuff. It's a great, uh, great way to keep everything in the same branding. We also have kits that will help mount your large light bars. So the large light bar that's at the front of the table here, that's a 50 inch bar. Um, not all of us want to drill into the front roof of our, our vehicles. <laughs> that causes all kinds of problems. And uh, you know, unless you're a custom fabricator, which many of you may be, um, you want something that's gonna mount fairly easy, not a whole lot of drilling, not a whole lot of you know maneuvering that hood because, or that roof, uh, wherever that's getting mounted. You know, the guys put these on the front end of their vehicles as well, but they're commonly right at the, the roof line. Um, we carry kits. So whether it's a Ford, Dodge, or Chevy, they are different for the different styles. Um, just look on the side of the boxes and you'll see what these models are for. And these are what will mount right in the sill trim just a couple of rivets, you just need to drill a very small pilot holes. You'll have to use silicone or a, uh, a barrier between the, uh, the metal surfaces and, the, and, and the, the, the kit, and you'll wanna make sure that that's sealed up so you don't get any leaking. But once you've mounted those on, it's a very streamlined mount, and it's super strong. It'll hold that heavy light bar, no problem. Lots of other accessories. We can't get into them all, but if you come into the Princess Auto, we're gonna have a really nice display. Uh, we even have in most stores, you can see an interactive um, light um, display where you can you know, turn, turn these lights on, see what they're like, and uh, actually see how bright they are. When it comes to adding these to your equipment, now specifically vehicles on our highways and roads, um, very, very different in regulations across Canada. So wherever you're looking, you know, to, to purchase these, um, many, many provinces don't allow you to have these uh, on when you are actually driving. So you're driving down the highway and you have your 50 inch light bar coming down the road, uh, pretty dangerous when it comes to oncoming traffic. So. Many, many jurisdictions, regulations, transportation rules vary depending on provinces. And uh, most of them require you to cover your lights when you're on the highway or you need to have a mechanical way to turn them down. So these have locking ends on them um, so that you can lock them in. And then if you are gonna go hunting or whatever it is you need to do off-roading, you can turn them up or you can get covers. So there's lots of smoke covers, there's um, whether they're a hard clip-on cover, a flip-up cover, or even a neoprene just sock that goes over them. Be very mindful when you are looking to do this. Um, they, uh, they, they're very strict on, on how many lights other than the equipment group that you have on your vehicle are able to be on or used on the highways. So I would really want to stress before you go out and you know spend a lot of money and effort, verify what your local regulations are. And if you're a traveler, just because you're from Alberta, let's say, and you're going to Saskatchewan, those regulations are different. So be aware that if you are traveling and you have a light bar on in a different province that doesn't allow that, you can run into some issues. So just be, just be mindful of those regulations. It's really cool to trick out our vehicles with all of these extra lights. 
um, but you do have to follow those uh, those provincial and 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 localized um, uh, regulations. Well, that's it for Tech Tips with Mike T. We'll see you next time.